Well, we've learned so much about the importance of these grasslands to people and wildlife. And we've also talked a little bit about how much of these grasslands have been lost over time. Rick Truax with the Forest Service joins us again. Rick, good to see you here. Glad you're sticking around with us here. Um, there's a lot of challenges out here that this ecosystem is facing, isn't there? Yeah, I want to tell you about a few of the challenges that we see out here, and we all have a kind of a collective responsibility to think about. First, I want to talk a bit about habitat fragmentation. Okay. And habitat fragmentation is a process where you take a large block of habitat and then you make it into smaller and smaller blocks and all of a sudden the smaller blocks become isolated from one another. And that can happen through road development, through urban sprawl, even fences can, habitat frag can fragment habitat for certain species. But what we do know is there are some management tools that can help us kind of mitigate and plan for fragmentation and kind of take care of it as best we can through corridors and, and you know, common uses of lands and management of lands across boundaries, that kind of thing. So planning is the key here. Planning is the key, yeah. Planning and, and the bringing science into how we do the planning is really important when it comes to habitat fragmentation. Good deal. Thank you, Rick. That's quite a list of challenges. Yeah. Any more? Because we, yeah. I know we talked about uh, drought, we talked about fire, we talked about all kinds of things sure, like so that earlier. Sure, right? so you mentioned conversion of grasslands earlier, and it still is a problem. It's not as big a problem now as it was maybe 20 years ago, but there still are native grasslands that are being converted to agriculture. And so that's a really problematic loss of, of grassland habitat, essentially. And, and then uh, this idea of drought is, you know, we talked about these systems kind of evolving with drought, but at the same time, when you get extreme droughts, that can be problematic. And that can have real stresses on the environment, both in the plants and the animals, and for the services that the ecosystem provides to us. So as we see perhaps more extreme droughts, longer droughts or, or deeper droughts, we may see more problems with drought in these grasslands. And then one more that I think interacts with drought quite a bit is, invasive species and we think of invasives usually as plant species and that's often where the problems are invasive species are not native to an area and what happens once they become established they can spread very quickly and almost take over an area and when that happens you lose the the habitat quality that the native grasses provide for through food shelter etc so we do have a problem with invasives and coordinating with a lot of partners to work on that problem Another uh, thing that we are concerned with with, with wildfire, no, you know, it's, it's a big concern in the forests of Colorado, yes. but it's also a concern uh, out here on the grasslands too, isn't it? It is, and you know, fire occurred historically here through lightning strikes as well as through Native American use of fire to manage the landscape. But over the last century, we've been a little bit averse to using fire as a management tool. We're starting to use it more and more and as a really important tool in the toolbox to use carefully planned and implemented prescribed fires to help the grasslands. And what fire on these landscapes does is several things. It basically releases and recycles nutrients. So all the nutrients that are stuck in dead materials, they'll get recycled back into the system and it can prepare the seedbed for germination. Uh -huh. So some species will actually only germinate after a fire. So there are a variety of reasons that fire is really important to these grasslands and the Forest Service and a lot of our partners are working to bring fire back to these landscapes as best we can in a responsible way, knowing there's a lot of sensitivity with all the human infrastructure, communities, that's always on our mind. Beautiful, good information there. It's so important to know about these challenges and threats so that we can make informed choices, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, good deal. Thank you, Rick, so much.